Into the Abyss, Alaska Triangle's Time Warp Twist. Hey, fellow mystery seekers. Buckle up for this wild ride into the heart of the enigmatic Alaska Triangle. I'm your guide, and we're diving deep into the story of Alan Foster, the missing pilot, and the strange occurrences in the skies. Let's rewind to September 2013. Alan, an experienced pro, kicks off from Atlanta, Georgia, in his new single-engine plane. Anchorage, Alaska, is his destination, 4,000 miles of sky to conquer. After cruising through air taxis and commuter planes, Alan makes a pit stop in the small Alaskan village of Yakutat. He refuels, takes a breather, and heads back to the clouds with 360 miles left to Anchorage. Alan, aware of rough air, radios Juno for a weather update. A signal, a passing plane, a gnarly weather warning, and poof. Alan and his plane vanish into the notorious Alaska Triangle. Now, let's shift our focus to the Alaska Triangle's eerie history. From its once mesmerizing beauty to a reputation as one of the most doomed places since the 50s. For 70 years, strange disappearances have haunted the region, leaving families and detectives puzzled. Weather anomalies, government cover-ups, and who knows what else. Forget the Bermuda Triangle, the Alaska Triangle sprawls from Juneau to Anchorage, up to Atkiavik, covering 186,000 square miles, a wilderness where one wrong move could mean life or death, and secrets are buried deep under snow and ice. Alan Foster joins the list of vanishings in this eerie triangle, linking back to the first known case in 1950. The U.S. Air Force Skymaster, 44 on board, vanishing without a trace over the Yukon. A massive search unfolds, 85 planes circling, but no sign of the Skymaster. Questions arise, geopolitics, military exercises, top secret cargo. Theories abound but the Skymaster remains lost in the frozen expanse. Fast forward to 72, congressional elections looming, Nick Bejic and Hale Boggs vanish on a campaign trail. Pilot Don Johns checks in, and then silence. 39 days, 325,000 square miles, and nothing found. A new law requires emergency locators, symbolic re-elections, but the mystery lingers. Was it weather, pilot overconfidence, or a deeper conspiracy tied to Box's skepticism of the Warren Commission's report? But hold on, here's where it gets intergalactic. Enter pilot Bruce Gernon and his warp speed journey through the Bermuda Triangle. Flying from the Bahamas to Palm Beach, Bruce encounters a bizarre cloud tunnel. Darkness, flashes of light, spinning lines, and then, weightlessness. The plane's equipment goes haywire, the compass spins, navigation impossible. Bruce radios ground control for coordinates, but they can't locate him. The aircraft is invisible. When they finally reappear on the radar, Miami Beach is below them. Bruce, baffled, lands in Palm Beach 28 minutes ahead of schedule. Bruce speculates he witnessed the fabric of space and time in that tunnel. And guess what? Theoretical physicists like Miguel Alcubierre suggest a warp drive, a method where space-time contracts and expands, allowing superfast travel. A warp bubble, a corridor of warped space, a time warp twist. While no one has physically observed a warp bubble, the math, folks, it's intriguing. Physicists like Alexei Babrik and Eric Lenz propose its theoretical possibility. Imagine a tunnel contracting and expanding space-time around Bruce's plane. In those 20 seconds of time, he might have traversed through a corridor of warped space. It's a mind-bender, I know. But theories abound, and the Alaska Triangle keeps its secrets. Stay tuned for more mind-blowing tales from the unknown. Hit subscribe, like, and don't miss our next expedition into the uncharted territories. Vanishing Trails, The Unexplained in Alaska Now, we're rewinding to Einstein's E equals mc squared. Alongside general relativity, this equation gave us a glimpse into the energy-matter relationship. 
But hold on, quantum theory throws a curveball. Negative energy, once thought impossible, takes the stage in Alcubierre's theory, essential for bending spacetime. Scientific American cautions, it's rare and far from enough for a warp drive. And what about those haywire instruments during Bruce Gernon's flight in the Bermuda Triangle? Meteorologist David Paris suggests it's the ionization in the transitional zone, messing with compasses. Could the same apply to the Alaska Triangle? Enter Doug Muckler, a counterintelligence officer who stumbles upon mysterious uncharted land in military maps. Dark Pyramid whispers surface, a gigantic structure generating its own energy. Doug's quest unveils a file, but it's off-limits, guarded by officials who demand secrecy. Lee Pearson, a decorated veteran, echoes Doug's tales, intertwining with stories of underground pyramid investigations. Questions abound, but the government's silence prevails. A race against time begins in June 2001 when nurse Thomas Anthony Nessie vanishes near the Alaska Triangle. Surveillance captures a puzzling scene, a woman in Thomas's room, a stolen jeep, and a disappearance. The unknown clouds the Alaska Triangle skies. The mysterious dark pyramid haunts the narrative. Doug's suspicions persist, linking with Lee Pearson's accounts, creating a tapestry of secrets in the Alaskan wilderness. A marathon runner, Michael Lemida, adds another layer. Vanishing during the Mount Marathon race in 2012, he defies the visible eyes of thousands. The search, with helicopters and volunteers, unveils no trace. His daughter, determined, searches for weeks, but Michael, like many others, disappears into the mountain secrets. Now, buckle up for a UFO twist. FAA's John Callahan unveils an encounter during Japan Airlines cargo flight 1628 over the Alaska Triangle. UFOs, radar data, and credible witnesses all align. But the climax, the meeting is erased, files confiscated. Callahan, quick thinking, preserves the records of one of history's most documented UFO sightings. UFOs in Alaska, the skies awaken. Picture this, since 2016, Alaska's airspace has become a graveyard for small aircraft, with a staggering 42% of U.S. air fatalities occurring here. An eerie trend that has aviation enthusiasts scratching their heads. The Alaska Triangle, known for its mysterious disappearances, becomes a stage for tales like that of the C-124 Globemaster in 1952. Vanishing from radar en route to Elmendorf Air Force Base, it baffles minds. Theories range from wormholes to electromagnetic vortices, but some delve into the paranormal. World War II brings strange sightings over the Bering Sea, military personnel witnessing unidentified craft. A Navy pilot near Kodiak Island encounters an object moving at an impossible speed, disrupting his equipment. Days later, a Douglas C-54 Sky Master disappears. A lieutenant colonel witnesses orgs above Elmendorf, tying back to the Globemaster's intended destination. Decades later, declassified documents unveil hidden encounters, like the 1986 incident involving Japan Airlines Flight 1628. Captain Kenji Tarachi, a seasoned pilot, finds himself in a high-speed chase with UFOs over the Alaska Triangle. These unknown crafts, approximately 150 feet long, defy earthly design, featuring a dark center surrounded by rows of lights. The pursuit involves bursts of light, blink-of-an-eye disappearances, and a colossal mothership resembling a giant walnut shell. Radar confirms its presence, raising tension on the ground. As Captain Tarachi executes evasive maneuvers, the mothership lingers. Desperation sets in, with ground control considering fighter jets and rerouting other flights for additional eyewitnesses. The climax sees the mothership vanish just as a United plane approaches. Despite touching down safely, Captain Tarachi faces repercussions. His employer grounds him at a desk job, claiming embarrassment with talks of UFOs. 
FAA's John Callahan breaks the silence, sharing Tarachi's account, despite CIA warnings. Over 6,500 UFO encounters illuminate Alaska's skies and land. The Alaska Triangle, a hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, continues to captivate minds. In the 1978 edition of Ideal's UFO magazine, former Coast Guard navigation instructor Jack Friedman recounts a camping trip's bizarre encounter in the Alaska Triangle. Enigmatic Creatures of the Alaska Triangle, Beyond the Veil Our story begins with Jack's camping trip, awakening before sunrise to witness a surreal sight a dozen UFOs hovering in a valley. Glowing orange and measuring 20 to 30 feet wide, these circular aircraft vanish as the group descends, leaving behind a bizarre scene. A circular pattern of downed brush, a sticky spider web-like residue, and mysterious black rocks with indecipherable markings. Not to mention mutilated animal carcasses, including a 15-foot long orca, devoid of blood. Returning to Anchorage, the campers face disbelief until crossing the Canadian border. A man, unaffiliated with any government agency, stops them, dismisses their story as ridiculous, and advises silence while taking detailed notes. Black stones taken from the scene are stolen from a geology doctorate student's bag on the way to Columbia, sparking questions about a potential cover-up. The Alaska Triangle, it seems, conceals more than just UFO encounters. Indigenous legends paint a different, eerie picture. The Kushtaka, a shape-shifting creature resembling an otter and a human, preys on lonesome travelers, tricking them into following a disguised relative or injured child. The Kushtaka attacks, tearing victims apart or transforming them into one of its own. The hairy man, an eight to ten feet tall, hair-covered creature, is another enigma. Reports from Port Chatham on the Kenai Peninsula described severed limbs, disappearances, and an abandoned town in the 1920s. The hairy man's presence is marked by upside-down trees, a chilling sign of its territory. A recent visit to one such location reveals uprooted trees with roots reaching toward the sky, providing an eerie testament to the creature's existence. Reports suggest that the hairy man still roams the Alaska Triangle, leaving us to ponder the mysteries of this ancient land. Unraveling the Mysteries of the Alaska Triangle, A Chilling Reality Picture this, the seemingly solid surface of a glacier, concealing treacherous crevasses large enough to swallow buildings whole. In the vast expanse of Alaska, home to around 27,000 glaciers, the dangers are real. Over 16,000 people have gone missing since 1988, and the unforgiving conditions may be to blame. The unpredictable weather, fresh layers of snow burying travelers, and the hidden hazards beneath the ice pose a formidable threat. Melting glaciers, a consequence of climate change, have unveiled startling scenes. In the Swiss Alps, a maintenance crew discovered a couple buried since 1942, while the Andes Mountains revealed a 1947 plane crash preserved by a glacier-triggered avalanche. The C-124 Glowmaster's wreckage near Mount Gannett followed a similar fate in 2012. The shifting glaciers and their power to conceal the past are hauntingly real. Yet, environmental factors go beyond the ice. Wolves, hungry and adapting, decimated a deer population on Pleasant Island before turning to sea otters. A jogger near Chichigoff Lake faced a lethal wolf attack in 2010. As human territories intersect with wildlife habitats, the risk of confrontations with aggressive animals like wolves and bears rises. A hunter's encounter with a grizzly bear in 2021 echoes the dangers of nature. Stranded, he fended off the relentless beast for days before being rescued. Unfortunately, not all stories end with a rescue. In 2023, a mother and her baby fell victim to a polar bear in a storm-ridden village. The changing climate, forcing polar bears inland due to melting sea ice, intensifies human encounters and potential dangers. 
As we face the stark realities of climate change and its impact on wildlife behavior, we must ponder whether these factors offer an explanation for the Alaska Triangle's mysteries. Are these tragedies merely the result of nature's unforgiving grip, or does the Triangle still hide secrets beyond our understanding? Subscribe, like, and share if you're ready to confront the chilling truths of the Alaska Triangle. Stay vigilant, my fellow explorers, for the next chapter awaits. This is your guide, signing off. Until our next revelation.